guys and try to leave anyone out and apologize. Joe has flown in this morning from Tampa, Florida. Joe has a tremendous operation in G&G delivery. We all know Tina, everybody. And Joe, uh, is like, they, they handle orders all the way down up to Orlando, all the way down to pretty much the Fort Lauderdale area. And Joe made a big effort to come here today. We really appreciate it. Pat Smith came from North Carolina as well. Pat is our Watkins. Pat is the head of Watkins. <laughs> so, anyone who, who needs to speak about shipping rates, Pat is the best person to talk to. much <laughs> I'd also like to recognize uh, Stephen Smith, who we're going to speak about and roast him a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. And we'll get into that in a little bit. As well as Eddie Masood. Uh, everyone knows Eddie, the Masood family, uh, pretty much started uh, a lot of the logistics business that works today for e-commerce websites. Uh, Eddie has a very, very busy schedule and uh, he made it out of New Jersey, so we really appreciate you coming. Both of our delivery partners, our reps, manufacturers, work tirelessly day in and day out to make it work. Whether it means pulling an order and making sure that something ships, getting a part, having a customer that needs a Saturday delivery and they need it right now, even though we told them you know, it's gonna be four or five weeks and they hear whatever they wanna hear. The effort that you make day in and day out to make Renegade succeed is appreciated. And that's really what we wanna thank you for. Whether it means six o'clock in the evening pulling something, whether it means just going above and beyond day in and day out, it really, really helps our customers be happy. Take a video from And that's really what Take it's all about. Just to give you a picture, we have 28 customer service staff. So all what you're gonna really hear about throughout the day are our needs. And we appreciate the fact that when it comes to that call, whether whatever the situation is, you're always there for us. And we really consider it a partnership. And you know, we want to thank you very much for that partnership and for going above and beyond for us. Uh, a couple of interesting stats that I pulled up just to put in context what we deal with on the average day. Uh, we're also going to have a game show a little bit later. Uh, uh, call captains, you can find out soon who they are. And uh, we'll, have, we'll have fun with that. Uh, as well as we have a nice little holiday gift uh, for everyone on their way out. Uh, we also put together company bios, so you can meet all of our staff from our both our Coleman Renegade side as well as our top staff, um, and a copy of our latest uh, monthly newsletter. I want to mention a couple highlights that we had this year. Uh, we opened our Florida customer care office in August. It was a tremendous effort. Whenever you start a new office, especially when it's 1,200 miles apart from everything that is that you're doing here, it's a huge effort, and uh, I want to thank uh, Felice, our head of operations, who was still there on the floor multiple times, and works pretty much day throughout the day on the phone the whole day with Florida, making sure that not only do they succeed, but that they feel part of our New York operation. When you have a separate office, it's very easy for people to feel separated and very far away. And Felice works uh, on that to make sure that they have cameras and connections and luncheons. They just had a luncheon actually today, uh, right before this luncheon, so thank you Felice for that. We have currently 71 delivery hubs. That's where all my white hair has come from. Great, great partners. Really, really good delivery partners who get it. And deluxing furniture is not easy. Setting something up for a customer's home sounds simple, but it takes a tremendous amount of effort to get it right and to get every piece right. And 
to make sure that every customer, no matter what the story is or what they sign or didn't sign on that POD, is happy. So we want to thank every one of our delivery partners uh, for all of that work, all, all of your work that you do on a daily basis. This year, I just pulled up some stats right before, we had 2,789,106 visits on our website, on our Woo! website this year. We had 142,350 phone calls that came into our company. And uh, they all went to the <laughs> most of them are answered. That's my one there. On our woman side, we had over 32,000 orders in the last 12 months. And what that means is that, again, day in, day out, huh? we're there, whether it's Sunday, whether it's late Friday afternoon before we're closing, and, and just making sure that, that we're utilizing every single day. And this is the reason that we're honoring Stephen. Of all the people in our office, and you can ask everybody, Stephen works the hardest. And that's not to say that nobody else works as hard. But somebody who's there, Stephen, and maybe Joanne shouldn't hear this. Stephen is supposed to be in the office at 7 o'clock every morning. I don't remember the last time. <laughs> I don't know the last time he came after now. He is an hour and a half early every single day for the last four years. That's when it comes to Sundays. I remember we, we had a little expedenture where uh, we decided to make a warehouse. I don't know if it was a good idea, a bad idea. Uh, showroom, and Stephen and I would meet on Sundays and set up all the furniture for the one person that would come back. And uh, after a few weeks of that, we decided that uh, we're just going to stick with e-commerce. Um, just tell you a couple funny stories about Stephen, and I did promise that we're going to keep all the speeches short. So I'll ask Bruce to uh, for a couple moments. Stephen has gone twice to Hawaii for the company, and it sounds interesting. Why, why would you send somebody to Hawaii? So as a Jewish-owned company, we're not allowed to be open for sales. We can't have a sales department open on Saturday, which goes basically from Friday sunset till Saturday evening when it gets dark. Well, Black Friday is the earliest Sabbath of the year. It starts at about 4.11, and what are you going to do? So Stephen went this year and last year to Hawaii, because Hawaii is five hours behind here, and sunset goes an hour later, and he went to answer phone calls over there and set up an operation. So he gets to Hawaii, and he gets to the hotel, and the technician, the way it works in hotels is they have a firewall that blocks most of the speed of the internet. For our phone system, you gotta unblock that, and we arrange it in advance. So he shows up and tells the technician, you know, I came over here to work, Black Friday, a Jewish company. If you can unlock it, he says, listen here, buddy. Nobody comes to Hawaii to work. I'll unlock it for you, but don't sell me that. <laughs> Memorial Day last year was a Jewish holiday of Shavuot. Now what are we going to do? We're going to be closed for two days. It came out on Monday, Sunday and Monday. So, Stephen went to Israel. <laughs> Israel is ahead of us, and they only have a one-day holiday in Israel. And I'll explain this to them, anyone who wants <laughs> So Stephen came to Israel. Now, you show up to Israel as an American pastor with the name Stephen Smith. You're not getting through security. <laughs> His name is on a lot of lists over there. And he came over there to the hotel and the same story. And they're like, mm -hmm. right, yeah. I'm gonna work, right? Okay. But Stephen did actually go. He went twice to Israel, twice to Hawaii. We'll get into that later. And um, it's been a really great ride. And uh, day in and day out, we, we love having Stephen on our team. And everyone here in this room knows that the first person you call when you need something is Stephen. Anyways, we're both our top and our Coleman team. Um, last night, I wasn't feeling so great, and at 2.45 I messaged him that I might be a drop late in the office, and I got an answer at 2.46. <laughs> uh, 
I said, well, why are you up? And the answer is, I'm up every night at this time. So I'd like to call upon Bruce Krensky. Thank you. 
continuous devotion to the entire furniture community as a whole. Wishing continued success, Renegade Furniture Group.